So guys, I'm Ashgab by the side. So today we are going to cook two very special, healthy and unique dishes. So today I'm going to use kimchi by Gourmet Unis, one of our partner. So today I'm going to cook first kimchi fried rice and then kimchi omelet. I know a lot of you are thinking that it was a kimchi omelet. So stay connected on the video and you will see ahead. Let's cook kimchi fried rice first. So let's start cooking the kimchi fried rice. So since yes, you can see all the preparation is done. So let's start with sauteing the onion, a little bit of chilies, some bell pepper. Bell pepper is optional. If you don't want to add bell pepper, it's fine. We'll just make it a bit tender. I wish you could smell the aroma in the room right now. Just make sure that you don't burn the onion. Just make it translucent. Okay, since you can see that the onion is becoming translucent. Let's add the rice. And make sure that the rice is pre-cooked. Don't use the newly cooked rice, otherwise your fried rice will become mushy. And guys, the kimchi fried rice if you want, you can add some turmeric, also known as haldi in Hindi and that will make it yellow but I prefer it white as when we will add kimchi into this it will give its own color and that's much better than adding any other artificial color okay since you can see that the rice is hot now so this is the perfect time to add kimchi so I'm going to add a handful of kimchi in this now Okay guys, so now let's mix it. As, you, as I've told you, that kimchi will give its own color. And don't worry about the spicy level, I didn't add any kind of chili powder because I already added chilies in the beginning. And the kimchi is also a bit spicy and sour, so it will give its own flavoring. So this is the authentic kimchi fried rice. Okay guys, so as you can see it's cooked very fast, it's a go-to dish and make sure to uh, contact our partners Gourmet Uni. Okay guys, so the kimchi fried rice is done, so now I'm going to garnish it. So just simple garnishing, simple normal garnishing. So I'm going to add a few spring onions and a, and a bit of black pepper just to add that hint. Okay guys, the, the garnishing is done here, pero I always love the taste of the kimchi. So I'm going to add a bit of kimchi on the top. Kimchi always adds that zest to the food. Okay guys, so the plating is done. So let's prepare the kimchi omelet. So for this, just break the egg into the pan and make sure it's sunny side up don't scramble the egg don't beat the egg let it cook for a second or ten so now as you can see it's already stabilized now so now I'm going to add kimchi on it And make sure that you don't put kimchi on the yolk. It's not going to change the taste, pero it will change the presentation. If you like kimchi a little bit fried, you can put it on the pan itself directly.
If you want it to be spicy, you can add a bit of chilies on that. But I like it spicy, so I'm going to add it. So just chilies on the top of the yolk. As you can see, it's getting prepared, so don't worry. Give it some time and at last you will garnish it also with some spring onions. So don't worry about the garnishing, it's always going to be done.